Love me, and we've been chatting about the surf. We've been getting you thinking about the coast, thinking about getting out, riding waves again, and you know that's a reasonable excuse to drag in Martin Salia, who plays surf rock guitar. Hooray for Martin! Yay! Good to see you again, man. Thank you, Richard. Looking very well. You've just been touring, you were telling me? Yes, you've been on tour with Dave Warner from the suburbs. Get the, got the band back together. Been Fantastic. to Western Australia and Sydney in the last week or two. Let's explain to people who you are, what you do, why you've got this guitar and play in this style. OK, I'm, uh, I, my main thing is I play surf guitar. It's known as surf guitar these days. Music that originated out of um, California in the early 60s. Sounds, uh, what makes it surf guitar? Play a little bit for me. I'll give you some sounds. <laughs> See, down. that's just awesome. Because it also sounds vaguely Tex-Mex, too. I always think there's a crossover with that. You know, you could be in a dusty sort of saloon-type situation. Absolutely. There. There's almost that Mexican sound to it as well. Yes, definitely. I mean, Mexico is not far from Southern California. That's right. Same coastline, right? Yes. Are uh, you going to be playing? You've got, I've got some gigs up here if you're in Hobart and uh, you want to go down. The Brisbane Hotel on the 16th of November. The Lucky 13 Garage, Cochrane's Road in Moorabbin, is where you're going to be playing on the 17th. And uh, on the 14th, you're at Revolver upstairs at Chapel Street. Can I get you to turn down your amp a bit? Because I think if we get you to play, you're going to blow something up. Oh, Can okay. you turn, turn down the amp a little bit? Sure. I just sort of noticed that everything dust blew out of all the speakers. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't get a lot of that. Uh, martincilia.com is where you can go. Just try, strum something for me and I'll see if it's turned down enough. Yeah, that's good. That'll do. Actually, now you're doing all that... Uh, um, why don't you play something? What do you want to play? Okay, I'll play a little song. It's the last tune on the Revenge of the Surf Guitar album called Mermaid Beach. And it's the Revenge of the... Surf Guitar. Yes. And also look out for Surfosaurus is another album that's great. Okay, All take right, it away. here we go. <laughs> I was taken away there as somewhere down a surf coast. You've been playing since you were like 14? Yeah, about that? that. I think I did my first paid gig when I was 13 or 14, somewhere around. Playing there. stuff by The Shadows? Yeah, back in the day, it was the early 70s, um, playing a few top 40 things, Cat Stevens and some Apache. Of yeah, Apache was only 10 years old then. Can you still remember Apache? I can probably get through the first uh, few seconds of it. Yeah, do that, just yeah, to remind it. people what it sounds like. So what chord 
called to you about, I mean, that's such a distinctive brief. What called to you about that as opposed to any other sort of music when you were a little tacker? Well, I'm not a singer, so if I wanted to be in a band guitar, I just love the sound of the electric guitar. Yeah, but that particular sound it makes, that, that surf sound. I like the clean sound, and it just sounded fresh. It still sounds fresh and new today to me. What is it that gives it the distinctive sound? Is it the chords? Is it the way you've tuned it? Is it the guitar itself? What I gives think it's it that? everything's everything. It's a style of guitar, a clean sound, a Fender sound, which comes out of the Fender factory, which was in Southern California, which is where surfing music started. Sure. So it's all kind of lo location-based, but I think it's a sound and a feeling. And with um, music later in the 60s, especially, it went more bluesy, especially from England. And, mm -hmm. um, was I've, I've sort of uh, gone into that music a bit later. Yeah, huge blues invasion uh, at that stage. Absolutely. We're getting into our history of rock. Martin Tilly is who you're chatting to. You can go along and see him at a gig. You'll have a wonderful time. Brisbane Hotel in Hobart, 16th of November, and then he shoots back to Moorabbin the next night on the 17th of November at the Lucky 13 Garage in Cochrane's Road. December, uh, which is probably the birthday gig, Revolver Upstairs, Chapel Street. You got your birthday, didn't you, haven't you? Yeah. Is that your just birthday gig? Uh, just about is, yeah. We're about a week and a half of after my birthday. Oh, it's quite like making money on your birthday. Doesn't do any harm, does it? It's nice. Sets you up for the next year. Yes. And uh, what is coming up for next year? Are you going to do any more recording? Or are you still yeah, there's another continue? album in the works. Uh, it's basically all the songs recorded. We're waiting just to uh, final touches, artwork, that sort of thing at the moment. Uh, coming out early next year. Uh, another trip to America next year. I, went, I spent March in this year in America and mm -hmm. Hawaii. Uh, got to play with some of the greats of the, in the surf guitar style, and uh, including... Uh, people like um, Paul Johnson, who was one of the originators. Mm. He uh, was in a band called Bel Airs and wrote some of the big songs in the early 60s. And, uh, oh, was that fun? Or was it like, oh, this guy's about 100 years old now. It was weird. great. It was great. I got to hang out with uh, uh, Dick Dale, who is like the king of surf. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got to hang out at his ranch for a day. What's Dick Dale's ranch like? It's, it's um, a desert, basically. You've, we, I've getting driven out there. I was we're driving and it was... Um, I thought, geez, I've been kidnapped. We're going nowhere and I see signs, Death Valley this way. Yeah, yeah. And I think, what's going on here? Anyway, if we get to this ranch, middle of nowhere, literally, it's um, just nothing there apart from a, a landing strip that he built himself. Right. There's a hangar with a couple of planes in it and an old Rolls Royce and some tour buses and a couple of houses, and that's the ranch. And it's just boulders and it's really, really jagged stones. Did you say to mate, you thought about putting a pool in here? Well, yeah, I mean, that was the first thing I said, where's the pool? Let's jump in, you know, but... <laughs> getting so many SMSs. Uh, Woohoo, thanks for getting Martin on the show. He's a great guitarist. I have all the Atlantic's albums and they evoke great memories of surfing at Byron Bay and Bells Beach, that's from Surfy Chick. And Spring Reverb and a Whammy Bar is the key, Richard. Is that true? That's not a bad call. Uh, yes, yeah, Spring Reverb, which I don't have here today, but um, a Whammy Bar I do, which is, uh, make this sound. <laughs> And what about that thing we hear in Bombora, that ow, 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 that almost uh, feedbacking? That's, um, I'll probably do that for you in a minute. That's uh, done on a uh, Fender Stratocaster, and it's done on the low, low strings of the guitar, and you, the um, uh, left hand runs up and down the neck, and the right hand strikes the strings very hardly. Something like this. That sort of sound. Fantastic sound. How beautiful is that guitar playing? That's from Sal. And that's awesome. Hard to believe one man is playing. It's my era. That's for Kevin Imbola. So you want to get into the gigs. Uh, 16th and uh, 17th of November, the Brisbane Hotel Hobart. Lucky 13 Garage, Cochrane's Road, Moorabbin. And the 14th of November, yell out happy birthday during it. It's a bit after his birthday, but he'll take it. Re Revolver upstairs at Chapel Street, Paran. It's great to see you again, Martin. Thanks so much for doing that, mate. Excellent. It's fun. Uh, you can get all the albums by going on the website as well. It's a couple of minutes before 3 o'clock.